So a simple version of Blender 2.91 was released a few days ago and that usually means a new splash screen comes along with it. Uh, so the new splash screen is the one you're seeing in the bottom image there. I like it so much that I decided to create my own version in the same art style as the new splash screen but uh, with my own style and twist to it. And this is going to be a time lapse of that process of creating that image uh, that you're seeing in the Renav in the render view and uh, which I'm demonstrating here. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a time lapse with uh, my voiceover explaining the steps uh, I went through. So I started in Mixamo because I didn't want to create the character from scratch that will usually take way more time than I wanted to spend on this project. And uh, so you can see me tweaking the materials and then after that I imported the project I imported the model into Blender as an FBX file. And this comes with uh, the textures and everything done for you. And then use Rigify, which is an add-on uh, that you can enable in the add-ons uh, section in the preferences uh, to rig your character very fast, to create a quick rig for your character. And as I, here I'm just tricking the materials. And now uh, with Rigify, you can create a very easy, uh, fast rig here uh, that uh, has good constraints and that can easily be animated. Now, the character that I imported in from Make Human didn't have any clothes because I wanted to design those myself in Blender. Uh, so this is this is the process of creating uh, the suit that you see her uh, wearing. So what I did is duplicate her body and then erased the hands, the head, and uh, and the legs. Used Alt S to push uh, the faces out outside along the animals. This makes the this puts some room between her skin and uh, the clothes. Now I'm using the cloth modifier and uh, some sculpting to start adding to add in some wrinkles there. Uh, the cloth modifier is a very, very intuitive tool, a very, very useful tool uh, that uh, you should learn how to do because it can save you quite a lot of time. So you can see I'm using the new cloth modifier with the filters, with the cloth filters. I wanted the suit to look a bit sci-fi, so I started selecting uh, some edge loops and then uh, beveling them and uh, inserting or kind of adding a, cr a crease in different areas, in different edge loops, uh, so that the suit looks more sci-fi, uh, like you see here. And uh, I think those details were very easy to do. So I also wanted to use some dirty vertex. So this is what I did with the uh, vertex painting so that I can get uh, those uh, wrinkles, highlight those wrinkles and the creases uh, where they are. And uh, with the vertex colors, you can easily create that. But uh, if you're using cycles, you can use, I think it's called uh, pointiness. Uh, the geometry node has a pointness output which will give you the same results uh, but because i was working in eevee which doesn't support the geometry node uh, the pointness output of the geometry node i was okay using only uh, the 
vertex that is vertex yeah so here i'm just trying to pose uh, the character to get her in the position i wanted her to be in and i just moving uh, the, the torso and everything so and Here I wanted to add in a helmet and uh, it was a very simple way to do it. I just uh, used an a UV sphere. I deleted some of the faces I didn't want and uh, now I'm just using extrusions and uh, no more simple techniques uh, to add in details, beveling edges and uh, inserting, extruding, uh, things like that to get the details uh, that I wanted.